Okay, you guys, right here, we're going to take some paint stir sticks and some craft sticks and some dowel rods. These came from the Dollar Tree. You get um two of them in a pack for $1.25, or you can get those from the Walmart. You get three of them in a pack. They're a bit bigger but shorter, like bigger round, for $1.98. So, and we're going to use these paint stir sticks Miss Rose Turner sent me. And y'all can use anything. I mean, this is all garbage wood, scrap wood, a paint stir stick, these two DIYs. Okay, so I'm going to start off marking um, 12 inches, and we're going to take two 12-inch pieces. And we're going to separate them here. And then, I don't know why I said I was going to separate them. And then we're going to take two pieces and cut them at four and a half inches. I'd originally wrote five or something, but ignore that. It's four and a half. And these are pieces, I just go out and rip off um, pieces of wood um, on the miter saw. If y'all have dial rods, square or round, you can use them. Anyway, so what we're going to do is, yeah, see, I said five, but it's going to be four and a half. So anyway, um, and it's only because I sanded them too much, I got carried away. <laughs> then I had to keep going. Anyway, so oh, we need three of those pieces <coughs> at four and a half inches. How y'all been? Young? Oh, me not so great. But anyway, I'm here now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to take wood glue and hot glue, and I'm going to glue those pieces like that, and I'm going to mark in the middle where I need to put it, that one, because um, I just don't want to put it just any old way, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, take some wood glue and hot glue, and there we go. And then we're going to put, um, we're going to do the same thing there. And then we're going to put the other two, one on each end, and I put them on the inside. Not the outside, the inside. Okay, now, I'm just taking some hot glue here and just tacking it, you know, making sure that it stays good. And then... Uh, oh, I'm cutting down those, um, sticks that Miss Rose Turner sent me, too. Those bamboo sticks that I like to use in little tiny ones all the time. You can use craft sticks if you want. Um, just cut the ends off of them. And I'm going to put those down all the way across to stabilize it better. Now, these are the big skewers from the Dollar Tree. I can't find the, um, dowel rods. So, and I wouldn't suggest using the small skinny skewers. You're going to need something a little bit thicker. So use a dowel rod or yeah that so i'm gonna cut that down 12 inches also i'm gonna sand it down on the end mm -hmm. then just lay it down there we're gonna add some hot glue and some wood glue again did y'all see these in the beginning y'all don't even know these are absolutely gorgeous and I always want to try to show y'all where I put this stuff in my house and I just never do but I need to I really do this stuff's going in my hallway um, this one was going to go outside, but I totally changed my mind. Anyway, so I'm going to take hot glue there and stabilize that and just tie, hold it down there with them clamps while I wipe, wipe off all that extra wood glue. Okay, now I put that round skewer there so I can take this paint stir stick and move it at any angle I want to because I want this one to lean back at a small angle. Um... Yeah, you see, I don't know what the degree of angles is. I could barely do two plus two. I could spell anything you want. Yeah, I love history. But don't ask me to do math because I'm terrible at it. So, anyway. um, Yeah, y'all see what I did there. <laughs> and then we're going to take um other uh, paint stir sticks. Going to wood glue them across the bottom of that there. And going to uh, take my, I can't talk, y'all. Take my um, nail gun there and throw some 5 8 inch, inch brides in them. Blank, 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 blank in them. Anyway, and um, of course, the dog had to go out as soon as I started doing this. And then um, I cut those at 6 inches. Mm -mm, I'm lying. Five and a half inches. Five and a half inches, y'all. And those are just regular paint stir sticks. Five and a half inches. And I'm going to glue one on each end and one there in the middle. 
I know y'all's like, great, another chair. You done did a chair. I did a rocking chair. But no, it's not. So, anyway, um, I just clamp those down there until they dry a little bit. Now, I'm going to take two more of those dowel rods there. And, and that's just junk. Honest to goodness, y'all, that is cut off. And um, I'm going to stabilize that base right there with those two pieces hot glue and we're gluing them in there and i will take my nail gun and that's why i needed the thicker part there anyway so i'm going to take another one and that's cut at 11 and 3 fourths inch another square one i hope y'all keep up i know it's a lot and i'm going to take and put it there, oh, and oh, you see those eye hooks? I got those at the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need four of those little tiny ones, and I'm gonna screw one in each end of that, um, about a fourth inch in from the end, in from the end, anyway. And that's just a uh, wood glue that I made a mess with, and I'm just gonna, yeah, so anyway, and I, yeah, y'all see, <laughs> no. Nail glue, nail gunning it down on there after putting wood glue on there. <sighs> anyway, and I'm putting hot glue, and I'm just going to hot glue and wood glue. Uh, I'm going to space them out a little bit all the way up to the tippy top of um, those paint stir sticks. Put my back on. And I'm just showing you there, that's 5 8 inch brag. You can use them in your electric stapler or your heavy duty stapler. But I'm going to take some uh, one and a half inch brads here. And I'm taking those dowel rods that I showed you in the beginning. I cut them at two inch pieces. And I'm going to use four of them. And I'm going to blip, blip those in there. Hot glue. And yeah. There you go. There. No. <laughs> I'm done tuning. For, I totally got these crooked, y'all. That They don't even match up. But it don't matter. You can't really tell. But I'm like, what a mess. I'm an absolute disaster. And um, I did two in the front and two in the back. Shh, you be still. Y'all, I have really missed you, I'm telling you. I know y'all's like, well, she's not coming back to YouTube anymore. Y'all would get a notification. When I die, I got a video that my daughter's going to add to my channel, and y'all will know. So, <laughs> just thought it'd be nice. Anyway, so um, I'm going to take, I took paint stir sticks there. And I cut them in half, six inches, and y'all saved the other ends of those, the curvy end pieces. And there we go. We're making the arms. We're just hot gluing them and, and zapping them down to that. And I cracked that piece. But that's okay. I filled the holes and everything, nail holes and everything with wood glue and, and the, the paint stir stick. I cracked there. And, yeah, it just makes it hold again and i'm going to take those eye hooks and i'm going to put them right there on the front of each of my um arms of my thing and i just put more wood glue and and clamp that together till it dried and it's holding up absolutely beautifully and then when we're done we're going to sand it down real good well we're not done yet but when we're done with all that i'm going to sand it down and then we're going to do some more so we're going to take another paint stir stick and going to put it in the front there and yeah it's gonna hang down and make it just look more real you know because i'm just extra y'all know that i'm kathy with the k k k k kathy <laughs> i don't know that made no sense so stupid <laughs> anyway so um now i'm gonna take that one i put the eye hooks in and i'm gonna put it there, I'm going to set it right there on the back, you see? And then I'm going to go ahead and put more paint stir sticks across the bottom. Um, Y'all will see. Um, I hope you can see. I can't see anything, you guys. I, my eyes are so bad now, and I just, I don't know. Um, Yeah. So, and then I'm going to take two more of those um, thin bamboo sticks Miss Rose sent me. And I'm going to glue them to the back to cover up the back. And because of that dowel rod, you know, it goes at a slight angle. Um, because I made my back, my backside lean back. Oh, y'all. Just watch it, please. I can't explain. And I hope to goodness y'all understand what I'm doing here. Yeah. And I'm just going to tack them down and make sure they stay. And then here we're going to put um, the paint stir sticks across the bottom. 
or the back. I don't know which one it is anymore. The back, <laughs> the bottom. Anyway, so here's what we got now. See? Isn't it cute? Anyway, and then we're going to take um, those side pieces that we had cut left over from the arms. And we're going to glue them to the sides of our um, little swing here with hot glue and um, glue glue. So, because, like I said, this was going to be outside. And it, since you're keeping it on, if you're going to keep it inside, I'm going to put succulents and flowers on it. And hang it down at, um, in the corner of my hallway. But anyway, see right there? Because we just want to cover it up and just try to make it look more realistic and a little bit more fancy, y'all. Because I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm so fancy. But look, yeah. Um, yeah. Y'all know. I'm just so bougie. But um, we're going to um, nail gun that down, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and of course sand it again because apparently I like sanding. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to paint, well, I'm going to dust it off right here real good. I'm going to wipe it down really good um, with a wet wipe before I paint it. And I'm going to paint it and I'm going to give it two coats in cottage white. And I'm going to take small paint brushes and get in the cracks. And then, oh no, I'm going to paint it in Waverly White chalk paint. Sorry, y'all. I just get so confused. And it's been a while since I've done this. And I'm going to take 150 grit sandpaper. And I'm going to sand that back down as smooth as I can get it, y'all. And I gave this two coats. And if you need to, give an, yeah, I, I like touched up places if I got it off. But I want it baby bottom smooth. Anyway, and look what I got, y'all. Look, these are absolutely gorgeous. Um, You get three of them in the pack. Yeah. And they're eleven dollars and eighty three cents from Amazon, and I shouldn't have got them. And and I tried to talk to them. Either they made a mistake or it comes that way. But they sent me two packs of those, y'all. So I don't know. I tried to fix it, but they told me I was wrong. But I'm just gonna cut out pieces I want. I'm gonna cut off that tree, out that tree branch, and then some leaves and some uh, little flowers, and we're gonna rub them on there. Yep, and it comes with that stick too that rubbing stick but anyway so i i was was asked to do some rub on transfer stuff you guys and yeah and some uh uh stamps which i didn't do this time and some clay molds which i did which isn't really much that i did so anyway y'all see what i'm doing there i'm just adding my leaves where i want and just adding pieces i want and then that little home word and then i put two little birds on it and i'm like i've already showed them me rubbing too much so y'all don't want to watch me rub everything so anyway and i take my craft knife or uh, some kind of knife yeah and i cut in between my words and my branch and my leaves and stuff but i don't do it with my um birds um i wanted to keep them as whole as possible and then I'm going to take Waverly Antique Wax. I put one bird on the leaf over there and one up in the corner over there. You see it sitting on the branch. It's so cute. And um, I'm going to distress my little swing. Yes, I am. And then I take, um, I think it's English Navy Blue or uh, something about England and blue. And, and uh, I don't know, by Apple Barrel. And I distress it some with that also. And I think it just add a touch of, there it is, there it is, a little touch of pretty. Sorry, y'all, I'm moving around and I shouldn't be. I should be more professional. But, you know, just a little bit, just to, I don't know, bring out the blue and the birds because I thought it was so pretty, you guys. I just love this thing. Yeah, I really do. But, yeah, again, you can still make it a bird fader and put it outside. Look, y'all, out of paint stir sticks and craft sticks and dowel rods and oh so i cut 24 pieces of a uh, jute at 32 inches long y'all 24 pieces at 32 inches long and i'm gonna take um <clears throat> six of them put them in there the lark's head knot put them through my eye hook and then i'm gonna braid them uh two at a time two you know two per each you know what i mean <laughs> 
two instead of one anyway. And I do that all the way around to all my eye hooks. And then I'm going to take my lighter and burn my fuzz off. And I like how it browns out uh, jute sometimes. And taking my label here because I'm going to make sure it sets even because, you know, I don't want my stuff to fall off of it. And I'm, ugh, uh, uh, and I'm taking some paint tape, painter's tape here. And this big old bead, I think it come off one of them seat things. See that thing? Those car seat things? I don't even know where it came from. I have two or three of them. I'm like, how in the world are we going to even get these? But, yeah, just make sure it's set and level, y'all. And, oh, did it again. And I'm going to wrap it around one of those wood um, um, macrame rings. And um, then I'm going to take some jute and tie it on there. And I'm going to do the, uh, I don't know. I didn't take my time. I should have. But anyway, I just wrap a ton of jute around it. And then uh, stable it down. Stable it down. <laughs> I can't find words, y'all. On the struggle bus today. Anyway, make sure it's on there real good so it doesn't come apart. Yeah. Do that. And um, then cut off any excess that you have. And excess, um, yeah. And make, oh, looky there, you guys. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? I love it so much. I really, really do. And when you pull down that bead, it makes the swing tighter. And it doesn't sway as much. And it just, I just absolutely love it. I hope y'all like it too. I really, really do. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up, y'all. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. But it's because it's so big. So I know I'm in the floor and on the table and over there. But um, I'm so excited for when it's done. Oh, I really am. I've been wanting one. And I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting one since I made my little one. Remember my little one? So y'all can do that. Um, I'll post the link to that video. If I remember, I don't mean to forget. But I'm um, made a small door. But you can make these as big as you want. Um, if you saw the measurements, this one is four feet tall. And I'm only 4'11". Four, four feet tall by 16 inches wide. So, and I got so many ideas for it. So, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, you guys. Now, every bit of this was free or, or five-gallon paint stir sticks. Mm. So... I got a big piece of whiteboard. Well, I thought somebody gave that to my husband, but then after I cut it up, apparently he said it was his, but it's mine now. <laughs> Nothing he can do about it. But anyway, yeah. So it's four foot tall by 16 inches wide. And then I ripped those boards down. Those are the um, the pallets uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot. They set their wood on there. So I just cut them down. Like I said, they're four feet tall and two inches wide. And we're going to take hot glue and we're going to, yeah, not hot glue, wood glue. And we're going to put that bad boy down there. And we're going to put one on each side. Excuse me. And then, well, shoot. I know y'all know how to put wood glue on. I don't know why I decided to show you so much of this. I got a tad bit crooked and I messed things up. <clears throat> now I'm in the floor. Okay, and then I took another piece of wood I found out in the garage and cut it 12 inches and by 2 inches, yeah. And um, and here I'm just trying to figure out my placement because a long time ago I wanted to make one of these doors bigger and I, and I didn't. I wish I would have. Now I'm seeing them everywhere and I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and do it. But the bottom is always shorter than the top and I just think that's a cute look. So... These old sticks, y'all have seen me use them a million times. The five got that piece right there, y'all. I was scared to death. It's a fourth inch wide, and I cut it on the table saw. And I've never cut a piece that slim, that short, like lengthwise, and that thin, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, those are those pieces that I get for free, and I cut them down from the Home Depot and the Lowe's. But anyway, I glued my one piece down there on the bottom. <clears throat> And I'm trying to get the end of the paint stir stick be covered up. And then there's another piece I cut across ways. But, um, 
Oh, I'm going to take another piece of one of them square dowel rods there. And I'm going to wood glue it and hot glue it across the bottom there. Because I needed just a smidge more height um, to make my door look more balanced. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to take that little dowel rod. And I'm going to take all those, tape them up together with some uh, masking tape, taking them out to the table saw and cut them down. If y'all don't believe I do the cuts, um, if you want, I can start taking you to the garage with me. It's just a pain in the butt. It really is. <laughs> anyway, so after I cut them, I'm <clears throat> going to bring them back in and start. Uh, I think I start gluing these on. I don't even know, but I did number them, so I would at least know what order i'd put them in and where i'd put them so they would go back the same and and it would i don't know so i don't know why so and then there's a piece it's a fourth inch wide it was just a junk piece that i have no idea where it came from i just found it there on my floor when i was doing this and i put it on top of you'll see so there i put my little dowel rod my square dowel rod <clears throat> i'm so sorry y'all on the bottom for the height and then i'm gonna wood glue all of my um five gallon paint stir sticks and that uh scrap wood and my thing there some of it's a little bit wider some of it's a little bit thicker you know i just thought that looked cute like that because i was going to do a farmhouse i was going a completely different route and then something happened i just went crazy but i love what i did and i'm just gonna put some weight on it till it dries y'all and then um i didn't need to show you that but there's the other dowel rod, and we're going to um, set it down on top of, see, like we did on the bottom there. Um, and then going to put that piece going across. And um, because of those gaps in the wood, I didn't want to fill them with wood filler. I did not want a wood filled sign. I mean, you could do that if you want, but, or get, use all those longer sticks if you could find them all the same length from Lowe's. <clears throat> excuse me well i'm sure you can buy some that are and then i'm gonna run away i don't know what i'm doing oh and i came back with my mallet and i just pounded that down there make sure it is in there good and tight and then i'm gonna take that crazy random piece that i found laying there and i'm gonna glue it on top right there just to cover up them holes it may not match the bottom perfectly but i'm perfectly fine with it um you could use Something else to cover those up to match, but I just, I still liked it anyway, y'all. Um, yeah, this thing is so long. My, my workbench, my tabletop was six feet long, and, and, um, I was having a hard time because my glue guns were sitting there. I, y'all don't care, so I'm gonna stop talking. But anyway, I'm gonna glue the top part up on there, and I'm gonna put, um, just a little tiny bit of, uh, uh, hot glue. So I can just keep working, y'all. Yeah. So I had a little gap there. I did put wood filler in it. I was I was so aggravated by the time I did that. It just and I started uh putting some brads in it and then I got lazy and changed my mind. But anyway, and there I'm just filling in like holes because some of the wood had screw holes in it and stuff like that. And of course I didn't want that to show because that would just look bad. But anyway, I'm I'm painted the top there, that crystal chalk paint by Waverly. And then I painted the door. Um, I'm giving it two full coats. Well, <clears throat> you'll see. Cover it completely. I wasn't going to, but then I did. Um, with that uh, cottage white chalk paint by <laughs> uh, home decor, folk art, whatever. Ah. And then... I do, okay, and I'm just measuring this out here. I do end up changing the color of that, too. Um, but it's still, that's pretty, but anyway, I want a little bit darker. So, I that's 22 inches long, and that's how long I'm going to make my decal. So, anyway, I cut out this decal on my Cricut. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Take some duct tape and tape it down to your table and it's so easy to set, and I look like a, a, I don't know, a crazy little fat gnome there, or a hunchback of Notre Dame or something. I don't know why I look so funny. But anyway, so here I'm taking some polymer air dry clay, and I'm making some little things. I didn't even end up using these. I did make some leaves and stuff, 
And uh, you guys can put a little bit of vegetable oil down in your molds. <clears throat> and it will stop your clay from sticking. Mine was very wet because I just opened it. So it was a bit tacky. But anyway, I'm just going to lay my... um my thing there it is look at that how pretty and that was on Cricut design space and i'm gonna take some modeling paste now y'all i made my own because i think that stuff's expensive and um and i have a recipe for my own i made and i'll give it to you um i have a diy coming up that y'all gonna see it and that way you don't have to pay that much for that little bit of stuff but anyway if you have it or you like it or you want it just um you just spread it on. You try to spread it on evenly, evenly all over your, uh, it's, it's better with the plastic thick decals. It works really good that way. But, or just a thicker, um, is that what, they're not called decals. What are they called? Um, what are they called, those things we use? Stencils. Oh my gosh. See, y'all, brain damage. Anyway, um. I forgot what I was saying. So, yeah, just do that. <laughs> and try to keep it even, and which I'm not very good at. But, hey, I get it good enough, right? So, um, and I'm not perfect. And sometimes I think I am. No, but I'm not. But I am. No, I'm joking. You guys, I'm just totally playing. I'm totally playing. But anyway, I like to peel it off while it's wet because I don't want any of that vinyl to dry in that and i'm using 240 grit sandpaper and i'm going to sand it down lightly to just try to even it out to make it smooth so i can paint it um that would have been pretty if i could like if i put a darker background and let the i don't know i wanted to paint it and painting so relaxing to me and i've really felt turd the past month so it just it's nice to feel chill so anyway i am yeah, putting some painter's tape around the inside of my door um, so I don't paint my door. And I just cut that off because it was just thick enough to use for two pieces. Now, look, y'all, I painted it black originally because, again, I had a plan. Uh, uh, but I changed it with acrylic paint. And if you can use acrylic paint, it's better. And I don't know why I'm standing there leaning on the door and not editing this stuff out because, meh. But I didn't. So this one, you all know that clay, that um, Crayola stretchy, like, what is that kind of clay? You know what I mean? It's air dry clay, but you get it at the Dollar Tree. I love making um, molds with that stuff. I know everybody's like, you're crazy, but I do. And it doesn't crack. And there's the leaves just the same. Um, it's sometimes, uh, it's a bit more difficult to get all of your, um, like, if you're, if you're doing one very detailed, I don't know. I've used them with very detailed stuff, y'all. So, I I don't know. Like, look at this one. I didn't even use it. But but look at it. Uh, see? And then the excess, I just take those little tiny scissors from Dollar Tree, and I just cut it off. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Y'all, um, use whatever you think to be honest, and whatever you're comfortable with or nothing at all. And then you can make flowers um, without having a mold. I'm just lazy and it's easier, but you can do it. And I'm going to take that metallic rose gold. Um, I got that at, I think I got it at Walmart, y'all. I don't know where I got it. Um, and I'm going to paint my bird cage. Yeah. And then, see, there's the leaves. You can't really tell the difference. And I'm going to paint them, and I'm going to glue them down because it's got little leaves falling all over it. And I'm just going to glue them in random places. That color, I can't see what color it is. But um, I'm going to patina my birdcage. Y'all, I'm absolutely in love with this. I am absolutely, I love this thing. I love this thing, and I hope y'all do like it as much as I do, or at least like it somewhat, because I'm just in love with it. So, anyway... And you could do farmhouse. You can do uh, the picking chow and keg or picking chicken, chicken picking, whatever. You know what I mean? And put our farmhouse on it or anything. Yeah. Um, or welcome 
I love dogs, you know what I mean? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Or just welcome. But anyway, so I paint the branches brown, and then I'm going to take some acrylic markers, and I'm going to paint all my birds a blue color, because I just thought that would be adorable. And um, my leaves green and all that jazz. And then um, I go through all this work and paint over it. <laughs> I sure do. Except the bird cage. I don't paint over the bird cage. But if you ugh, if you take your um, embossing tools from the Dollar Tree, there's like four sizes. Well, three sizes. Two really big balls and then you'll get like a smaller ball on one and then a medium like ball on the other. You can totally paint um, that stuff with that and it's much easier. I actually use it on the bird cage a lot, but I forgot to show y'all. So, Anyway, yeah, and see, I'm just painting that little bird of darker blue. And then here's where I go crazy. And, well, I'm already crazy for a lot of reasons, but we won't pull at that thread. So, I just paint over all, again, like I said, I don't know if I paint over my birds, but I paint over the everything else. Yeah, leaves and all. Yeah, I paint over the birds, too, I think. Anyway, because, yeah. So... Anyway, and then I like that better, that dust color. And then I'm taking that, well, I used the marker from the Dollar Tree and that one, both. But And I wrote, colored in my home sweet home in white. And then I'm going to take the rose gold marker from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to do my little whirly gig things. And then I'm taking my black one and I'm just outlining my birds. And then I outline my leaves and... Just everything. Because I think that looks pretty. So, and it reminds me uh, of like the stained glass in a way. You know, the older, more, uh, I don't know, you guys. You guys tell me what it is. I can't remember, but I sure have missed y'all. I do love y'all so very much. You mean so much to me. You really do. And I'll have a video Saturday, too. I am just pray for my health because, y'all, I'm just doing so bad, so terrible. Um, yeah, and, you know, the news from the doctors just keeps getting worse and worse. So, oh, well, what do you do? Just look to Jesus. Um, anyway, so there's the little roses I made and then little sunflowers and a little daisy. And I painted them with my uh, acrylic markers, different colors, and I... I'm gluing them by leaves on my board already. And then there's three little roses. I did them in three different little pink colors. And I'm gluing them all together there. And then I'm gluing my handle on, my doorknob on. And, um, yeah. And I think this is it, y'all. And look, oh my gosh. I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know why that looked black at the, oh, I didn't have the whole door in it. It's not black at the top. It's actually blue. I wonder why it looks like that, y'all. That's, why is that doing that? That's insane. Well, here it shouldn't be. I don't know why that did that. Y'all see that? It looked like, it looked like I just didn't paint a whole section at the top. Why is that? Oh, it's the shade. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all like this too. And if anybody recreates it, please, please send me a picture or the swing because I just love them both. I think they're adorable. Y'all, yesterday, day before yesterday, one of those two days, I went to the post office. Oh my gosh. And from. Valerie, Valerie Allison, she is, I was looking, I know how to, how to, I know how to say your name, I can't read, um, I'm trying to, <laughs> okay, I'm going off on something here, the, the, the city you live in, that's crazy. I can't say that. I can make it up. You want me? No, I don't want to make it up because I don't want people to have your address. But you know, you know how it is. Is it a PO box? No. So anyway, y'all, 
Look at these buttons. I'm, I gotta take them out because you know how excited I get when I get happy mail. And I just was like, oh my goodness. But wait, y'all, just wait. But, okay. I'm trying to pick it up. First, we got, excuse me, these little bees. It little bees, that cute little bees. Yeah, I've been um, accused of um, making up my accent, and I was like, uh, really? If I was gonna make up an accent, I'd tell my friend this. It wouldn't be this. I would make up, I'd do like a British accent or something like that. I can't even do one, but I would do try at least to do that before I do this. Come on now, y'all. Come on now. Anyway, look at these. Oh my goodness. I was like, oh my goodness. Where do you even find buttons like this? Oh, I know you. I was like, just show us the stupid buttons. <gasps> Look. Can you see them all? I like this one the most, I think. Ooh, I like this one too really well, though. And this one. And this one. These two are my last favorite. But I really like them all. <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyway. Thank you, Miss Valerie. Hope I'm not showing all your business. But, y'all, y'all see what I got here? You see what I got here? See, that's... You see what I got here, mate? <laughs> to all my British um, friends, and that was more like Australian or something. <clears throat> I have a really good friend I've had for years. Um, Robert Day, I'm telling you. Robert, if you see this, hello, how have you been? But anyway, he's really from... Ireland. He's an Irish guy. And he used to make fun of how I say swim. Like if I was going to go swimming and swim, he'd say, I said. But he's like, say 33 and a third. You know, he can't do it. He's like, 33 and a third. And we just laugh. I don't know. He's just a good guy. I don't know why I told you that story. But anyway, look at the cute little bunny. Isn't he adorable? Get pretty, pretty happy Easter day. But we'll have to use that next year. But y'all, <laughs> y'all, now I don't know where these came from, and some of y'all's like, I don't have napkins like that, and get all like hate hating on me. But y'all, these get sent to me by you lovely, wonderful people. So anyway, and it's very much appreciated. And I'm looking at the camera instead of looking right here, so I'm like, yeah. Hey, hey. But anyway, look. <gasps> Look, that napkin. Oh my goodness. Is that gorgeous or what? And there's one. This one, dude, y'all. I flipped when I saw that. This is, this is my favorite. And I, I don't know. Maybe I should have been born back, back in the 1800s or something. I say that to people all the time. I should have been like Little House on Prairie Day, stuff like that. Because I love anything like vintage and look oh my gosh y'all look and i got four of them i see that one even better let me try but i got chains for four colors those are so cute y'all and it even says london anyway let me try again <laughs> this one <laughs> I love this one, too. I don't know. I sound more like a Dick Van Dyke on Mary Poppins. <laughs> that was a bad British accent. Anyway. Yeah. But anyway. I was trying to think of something. Look. Oh, golly. That is so pretty. I'm so excited about using these. I need to... Oh, we got... I got some of those little... um. MDF, this is, no, these. I know, I worked with a friend, uh, Jane, from uh, my, my job, though, anyway, and um, someone called one time, and was like, hey, can I speak to the lady with an accent, and they sent her to Jane, she was British, and um, they were like, no, it's not you, and it was me, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm American, you idiot, but anyway, no, I'm sorry, sorry. This one. Y'all, this is totally got to go. This is like an in-between color between what I'm doing in my kitchen and my bathroom. 
I love this. This is so pretty. I mean, oh, oh, oh. I don't know where y'all find these. And then this one, this is very, very vibrant. I mean, it is like, bam. So look, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look, if you can like put this one on a whole board and put something right here, but Mod Podge it first. Remember the last time, my last bugaboo? That's pretty. It's Mary Poppins. I can't do it. Anyway, y'all. I miss you. And I'm going to be in Tennessee. Yeehaw. Um, so, yeah. Um, I wish I could have got more videos out. You guys, I've been to doctors. Doctors appointments. Specialists. Uh, it's been... Yeah. But anyway, and then they can't figure out why I've lost 33 pounds and my hair's falling out and it's so thin now. And then I've been cutting my own hair since I was a little girl, since I was 11. And um, the other day, last Sunday, before church, I went to the bathroom. I don't know what I was thinking. And I grabbed this and I said, chop, chop. And it fell down and it looked like someone put a bowl on my head and cut around it. And the rest of it was a mullet. And I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like, dude, I can't. I don't have the, my my texture. Look, it is not good for this. Because my hair is like curly if I want it to be. Wavy if I want it to be. Straight if I want it to be. And oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm looking at. <laughs> and then I was like. I said to Brenda from Rustic and Lace the other day, I said, I've lost so much weight, and my nose just looks bigger. And with these glasses, don't I look like Groucho Marks? Or, you know that... <laughs> you know that mask you can buy that's got the nose? And you put the glasses on. I just got the glasses. That's what I look like. What's this? What's that? What's that? Uh... Oh, no, I got a big girl on this side. Anyway, y'all, I do do this when I go to sleep. But I think I'm going to cut it all off. I've got to go. Okay, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to miss y'all so very much. Your comments do mean so, so, so much to me. I try to um, get back to all the questions the best I can. And um, like I said, I've been really busy. But um, we are going to do a giveaway. I'm getting stuff together. See, after I said i got to go... But this is um, going to be in it. Some stamps is going to be in it. Um, a set of calendars is going to be in it. Because we just haven't done one in a while. But whatever. Just remember, I don't use Telegram, y'all. And I would never ask you to send me any money. So if anybody ever sends you anything like that, tell them to bugger off. Bugger off. I can't even say that. But you know what I'm saying? 